This diagram is a classical view of how the two entities interact. The circular flow diagram offers a simple way of organizing all the economic transactions that occur between households and firms in the economy. As can be seen, the economy has two types of decision makers, households and firms. Households and firms interact in two types of markets, that is, goods and services and factor market. Firms produce goods and services using inputs such as labor, land, raw material, machines capital and entrepreneurship. These inputs are called the factors of production. Household, both standalone and extended, own the factors of production and consume all the goods and services that the firms produce. In the markets for goods and services, Households are buyers and firms are sellers. In particular, households buy the output of goods and services that firms produce. In the markets for the factors of production, households are sellers and firms are buyers. In these markets, households provide firms the inputs that the firms use to produce goods and services. Factors of production flow from households to firms and finished products and services flow from firms to households. Firms pay wages, rent, profits to households for providing factors of production and households pay firms for the goods and services they consume. We can also understand GDP through this circular flow diagram. How? Please explain. From the market for goods and services perspective, the total spending that households, that is GDP. This is obviously the same as the revenue that the other firms get from the households. Similarly, from the perspective of markets for factors of production, firms pay for inputs for production, wages, rent, profits, net interest. The factors of production market, which is income of household and it is also GDP. So, GDP is total spending done by household in buying goods and services produced by firm. Total revenue earned by firms by selling goods and services to households. Wages, rents and profits earned by household for providing factors of production. Total income of households owing to payment by firms for factors of production. GDP is same regardless of how we compute it. Our discussion in circular flow diagram was focused on two basic entities, that is, firms and households. Let's now understand the role of three important players that is, government, financial market and rest of the world from circular flow diagram perspective. Let us see the government role first. Government is a key participant in an economy. The source of funds for government is tax, direct and indirect, from firms and households, and the utilization of these funds goes into public projects, defense, subsidies, primary health care and education, infrastructure and direct buying from goods and services market. Coming to the financial markets, as your financial minister has already told you, they help in channelize savings from individuals and firms with surpluses to individuals and firms that need them. It includes banks, merchant banks, etc. Savings can come from households, government, firms, rest of the world and can be channelized back to them. Coming to role of the rest of the world, we have already discussed much in international trade discussion. Let me just revise the key elements of it, which are important for us to know to understand its fitment with circular flow diagram. Economies across the world are integrated. An economy interacts with the rest of the world in the following areas. Exports, 
imports of products and services, financial savings and investments between the economy and the rest of the world. While the exports and imports contribute to the products and services market, the financial savings and investments affect the capital market.